Well, I had uh, four children, uh, and I was in an abusive relationship. And I became homeless because I had to run. Um, and so there was no place for me to go locally. Uh, and I had to get out of town. And if you're in that situation, the best place to be is away. Uh, outside of the shelter, I couldn't protect myself, much less my children. And that's the only focal point that I had, just like blinders on, I had to focus, not where I was at, but where I was going. And that place could take me somewhere, that place could help me. And I wanted to utilize everything that it had. I got my GED, I was the first woman there uh, to get a GED because I could not finish school. I had to have learning skills. I didn't get to go to college, but I had to use what I had um, for classes, you know. Um, cooking. I had to cook for several, you know, 60 some women. It would be my turn that, you know, this week you had a schedule and the schedule my week I had to cook. <laughs> Therefore I'm mammy and that's all I did. You know, when you're homeless um, and then you do have children, for in my experience, um, I could not think of myself as being homeless. I could not um, actually say those words to my children ever. They never knew they were homeless. Uh, we had a car, finally had gotten a car. Uh, we would camp out, you know, my kids would camp out at night. We'd go to the local river and camp out and have fun. Uh, I always had to be very creative in helping them. And, and not everybody can do this. Guys, not everybody can do this. I was uh, capable of saying, hey, you know, there's this homelessness and then you know, there's this semi-homelessness where you're like, okay, we've got, we're gonna stay here for the night. My dad had an apartment in Louisville. We would we would stay there after we were out, were out of the shelter and then when the true work had to begin. I'm telling you, you think it's easy. You think, oh, I'm gonna lay back and I'm gonna be in this shelter and not do anything. That's where the heart, you can do that if you don't have the right tools and the right people to help you. Uh, you, because it's very easy to give up. Oh, it's so easy to give up. And I wanted to because it was so hard to not give up and it was a lot of work not to be right there. And uh, you know, it just constantly had to play that game in my head for my children. And I thought it's time for me to turn it around and come full circle and to look back because it hurt quite a bit to go back there. Uh, and so I joined the board of Bethany Haven, our homeless shelter, uh, which was one shelter and it was a family shelter here in Bargetown. And I became very active and the board members have been amazing to work with. Uh, and we acquired within the three years that I've been on the board, another building, which was a home that we turned into an actual men's shelter. Uh, and they're a block apart. Uh, and we renovated that house. Uh, and now it houses uh, seven to eight uh, men. And it's got, you know, it's just a beautiful place. Everybody doesn't know that story, but it is a story, it's a good story to be told, and I'm glad you're telling this story because there's not a more deserving person that uh, needs a story told to help give people, a lot of people that are in that situation, a chance to, to uh, let it be seen that you can grow out of that with a lot of hard work and persistence. And, uh, and she's had some fam good family support also. <laughs> Every community can use several Christy Clarks. Uh, because a homeless is in a, in a nice little quiet community like Barstown, uh, there's, there's still quite a bit of homeless in here. It's not, it's not like you may see in the big city where you're, they're sleeping under the bridges or, uh, or a homeless camps or like that, but, but they are, there's, a, there's a, a quiet homelessness here. My advice to a city official 
is to please don't look at that person as they don't want this and they don't want to do that. They got to help themselves. But what can I do to help you? Because you're looking at that person that might be the next city official, the city leader, or a business entrepreneur. There are so many things inside that person that just like, might take a little bit of understanding and help and heart uh, to get that out of them. But you're looking at a very, very big potential person there.